So yeah, just another thing that we have to worry about as women. So we had to reach out to this original creator to reshare with you guys because this is so disturbing. Basically, sometimes some creeps will install the peephole backwards so they can actually see into your hotel room. So something just to double check next time you're at a hotel. Hotel security tips when you're traveling. Go in front of every mirror and put one finger in front of it. If there is a gap, you're good to go. If not, two-way mirror, you need to get another room. This is one of your biggest security risks. This really doesn't do shit, and then this can also be open from the outside with a key. You're gonna grab one of these. You're gonna jam it all the way in because then the door can't be opened from the outside. I always request a room that's by the stairs and not an elevator because if something happens for the building, I need to escape as quick as possible and not rely on the elevator. And now for my favorite part, make the room completely dark. Then you're gonna turn on your camera and see if there is any lights going on around any air vent. Same with the mirrors and the furniture. If there is a little light on, that means that there is a camera hidden somewhere. No light, you're good to go. I hope that helps. Stay safe out there. Hi girls, I'm gonna tell you some ways to keep safe when you're out walking. First of all, I definitely recommend wearing a scrunchie. It stops your hair from getting messed up and also wear sunscreen so that you don't get wrinkles and get ugly, obviously. Now that the boys are gone, I'd also recommend wearing lipstick instead of lip gloss so your hair doesn't get caught in it. Okay, now that the boys actually gone, here are some of my best self-defense and preventative measures to keep safe when you're out and about on your own. I carry my keys on a strap like this. Putting your keys between your fingers can be seen as a weapon if you're away from home. This, like this, because I know in an emergency I can grab and I can do what I need to do. Better to hold them like this rather than between your fingers. It's also worth getting a personal safety alarm because they are useful if you know how to use them. In an act of self-defense, I would pull this from the keychain, and if I was being held by a man, I would hold it against his ear because this is deafening and it might startle him and you can run away. Like for part two, I've got a lot of tips. Safety tips for college girls. So my top number one tip is to share your location with your friends. I have like 20 of my friends on Find My Friends and it makes me feel good because if I go out, if I go for a run or anything, I know a ton of girls have my location. Also, it's just super useful in ways you wouldn't even think. Next would be to have pepper spray on your keys. So this is one I have. I like it because there's a little safety mechanism. You push that and then you can squeeze it. It's also important to carry it around like, like this when you're walking around because that way if you need to use it, it's like right there. Another tip would be to plan your walks along well-lit streets or streets with a lot of businesses that might have security cameras. That way if anything happens, it's well lit and there might be footage of the incident. Also, never go to parties alone. I find that a buddy system is super useful because if you drink a lot, your friend can be like, hey girl, maybe we stop. Or if something happens to you, God forbid, your friend can be there to help you out. Like and share so girls can be safe. <clears throat> what are you doing? Oh, I see. You didn't bump your head somewhere. Number one, never take out all of your money at once. Keep small amounts of money and take out only what you need. Y'all talking about common sense, but I promise you it's not so common and it's apparent many of y'all don't have no sense. Number two, don't keep all of your cash and cards in the same place. When somebody take it, I'm gonna be there in spirit looking at you like this. Number three, research the country and location on travelstate.gov. Just a guideline. Every country and city has crime because at this point, if you live in the USA, you from the trenches, bro. Mm. Number four, arrive during the day. Taxi drivers can ambush you and navigating bargaining skills and get into your location. Yeah, you go right ahead. Mm -hmm. Number five, try not to have fancy phones or cameras out for long periods of time. Finders Keepers is real. Whether you stick to these tips or break them, I promise you, solo travel will be the best thing, the best thing that you ever did. 
this is me walking back to my car alone at night in a parking lot and I just did not feel safe at all. Reasons why I don't live in New York anymore. I've been seeing a lot of girls posting the what I do in a day, day in the life of a New Yorker. And I live that. I worked as a model in New York for years. Now I just travel in and out of New York for specific modeling jobs. But here's why I'm not there anymore. The biggest problem that I had in New York was the fact that I would get followed by a stranger literally once every two weeks. New York is a walking city and so I would walk to work and I would walk back. And while I was walking back, sometimes I would feel like I was being watched and I would turn around and there would be a guy who was following me and he would follow me for blocks. And so I'd have to walk in a direction that wasn't towards my home and basically lose the person that was following me. But this happened literally once every two weeks. I even moved out of my apartment and did a new one and it still happened. I kept getting routinely followed home by strange, creepy guys. And it just makes me remember, if you're a girl living by yourself in a city, you have to look over your shoulder. Safety tips for walking alone. Do not carry just the keychain. If you have to act fast, it would be hard to grab the defense tool you need. Always keep a defense tool in your hand at all times. Always be aware of your surroundings. Stay safe, babe. Tip for the girls, if he waits to start driving until he asks you if you're buckled, he's a keeper. So if you see zip ties tied to your car, it could mean multiple things and it's a possible sign of sex trafficking. So basically, um, they either put it on there so you can look at it and get distracted and try to take it off and then they get you from behind, or it means they mark you. And being marked means that they're watching you, you're like one of their, uh, what is the word? You're one of their targets, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Nobody's gonna be putting anything in my drink at the bar. All you need is a napkin and a hair tie. Place your napkin on top of the drink and put your hair tie around the cup. I do this all the time. No shame in my game. Now I can go to the bathroom without expecting any unwanted surprises. New York is a little extra scary these days, so I'm here if you're a woman to help you stay a little bit safer. Um, if you guys didn't know, I was followed in a subway last year. I could totally do a story time on that if you want. But after that happened, I was pretty shaken and I decided to do a couple of things to kind of step up my security. So um, let's get into it. I always keep this in my pocket. So most of you guys have seen this. It's a birdie. You pull it. It makes a really loud noise and it's supposed to like scare off and shoot it or at least draw attention to yourself. So I like to have this one, especially in the subway. And then I like to have this one when I'm in Ubers. So this is a seatbelt cutter. Even if like you don't ride in Ubers a lot, it's just kind of safe to have if you know, your car, you ever need to really get out really quickly, you can cut your seatbelt. And then this right here is supposed to be like a glass breaker. So you hit the glass and it's supposed to shatter it. Um, it makes me feel better. And I got these, this from Amazon and this directly from Birdie. Okay, so this right here is called an Invisiwear necklace. You get it in a bracelet, you get it in a keychain. But essentially, this is a necklace. No one ever knows what it is because I go on a lot of dates and guys are like, what's your locket stand for? And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. But this is the necklace and you can press this button right here. And essentially, it alerts four or five of your friends that you set on your phone um, of your location immediately or it will dispatch the police so when i'm clicking this that means like something like is absolutely wrong and i need help urgently and i don't want to reach for my phone so i think this is a really great like secret security method you can also pay an extra fee on the website and it connects you to adt which is a security company and so it's like an app on your phone and you can actually be texting them so if you're walking home really late at night and you don't want to be alone you could be texting them until i guess you get home or if you feel like something's off so that is an additional service you could go for. Get you some pepper spray. I had a pepper spray and it got taken up. So then I was like, how the heck do I get pepper spray in New York? Target ships it. Um, I found this comment on TikTok and I actually tried it out and they shipped it to me. So if you live in New York, try target.com. Um, this one right here has a laser. And then this one is just actually a really cute pepper spray so i have two of them and that is just because if one gets taken up then i already know i have a backup at home so personally as someone that tries to be extra cautious i just like to have two at home now because i was i didn't like that they took my pepper spray it was rude and then this isn't really a security tool but a tip that i recommend 
always charge your phone okay so this right here i got from target it was only a couple dollars and i keep it on my keychain and that means i always have a cord to charge my phone on even if i need to go find like a random outlet or a laptop this i prefer to have on me but it's a little bulky a portable charger so that way i could charge my phone at all times of course you could get one of these you know um, i would prefer a smaller one let me know Don't worry, I'm a police officer. How do I know you're a police officer? I'm a real police officer. I have a badge. You can trust me. What are you doing? I'm trying to hail a bus. Hello, police officer on the phone. There's a police officer trying to arrest me. Your own fault being out so late, really. You don't think a whistle is actually going to help, do you? It's just I work and I finish late at night. And Cressida said that if you need to go out at night time, that maybe you should take a whistle or a rape alarm or something. I literally have handcuffs and a truncheon, and you're stronger than me. And there's 1.6% chance I'll get caught. 